So today we're out here at beautiful and historic Road America in the middle of winter, which can only mean one thing, that we are doing some winter autocross today and I could be more freaking excited. Actually, I could be more excited if I actually maybe had the proper setup. We are running some all season tires on this, uh, which should be an interesting time, but I've never done winter autocross before. And we are out here with the boys. We got Dakota out here in the Supra. We even have our friend Cody bringing out his TDI sport wagon, which should be an absolute blast. So there's three courses we're gonna run today. Let's go see how it goes. All right, so we're getting ready for the first run of the day. We're on the Motoplex for the first run, which is arguably one of the harder tracks of the day. Uh, it's going to be there's a lot of elevation, a lot of sharp corners. Um, I'm a little nervous. We did go through a run through of it, sliding a little bit. Obviously, all season's not the best for this, uh, but we're just going to take our time. We're going to have fun. I'm not here to really compete against anything. Uh, so I'm just really looking forward to having a good time out there. The, the track itself, there's a lot of snow on it. It's going to be it's going to be a blast. not great basically <laughs> slowest on the track currently um at least uh, for the majority out here so a lot of areas that i know that i can make up time in i'm not going to push it super hard because i am getting a lot of understeer uh obviously the tires not helping out the greatest here but there are some areas that i could have definitely pushed it a little harder um that felt really good especially in like the straightaways and stuff so the the braking and the understeer are my biggest enemies right now um, but we'll figure it out. I think hopefully it can put down, as long as I can put down a better time each time, that's what I'm hoping for. second track that we're at we're at i believe it's called the upper paddock it is bumpy it's a lot more technical a uh, lot tighter and the the actual course itself is super bumpy and it is banging this car all around it sounds like it's about ready to fall apart uh we ran about a 70.6 i think on it um which isn't the best considering everyone's running like a 58 or a 60 but i did beat a wrx so i will take that as a win amount of people coming through and actually that have been able to attend this event um unfortunately that means that we haven't been able to run as much as we'd like to 
Uh, so we only got to run the last course once. We just did a run through of the third track. Um, so there's three tracks that we're running today. Meg, what do you think? Uh, there's some bumpy tracks. Yeah, my car hates me. This is loud. Like, it's making a lot of banging and clunking noises uh, as we hit like these ice mounds and stuff, and especially when the wheels are turned. Uh, car is not necessarily happy with me, um, but we'll get through it. But you're so, having fun. We're having a blast. You're having fun. We're having a blast. Be able to drive a car like this on like an actual like closed course. This, this is like this is what everyone dreams of like up here being able to drive cars and stuff so yeah we're gonna do the uh the third track before we break for lunch here and then i think we run it back again mm -hmm. so yeah we'll see how this one works We're back out after lunch just got the first run done here at the motorplex again i'm starting to get like this little knocking sound in the front driver's side wheel i don't know if it's snow or i'm starting to blow an axle or what but these ice mountains that are under this snow are absolutely brutal so hopefully i didn't just like blow an axle out or a wheel bearing or something i'm gonna do one more run here and if it starts to get worse i think we're gonna have to call it unfortunately um, so I can at least make it home, but something doesn't seem right. Uh, I'm just going to keep an eye on it. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. I don't know what the heck that is. Yeah. It's when I turn right. I don't know. It's when I turn right and I can't tell what side it is. It sounds almost like it's in the middle. What up, dude? Dude, I was hitting so hard. I think I lost. That's what happened. Oh, God. I lost the side skirt. Dude, I was bottoming out a lot. Boo! 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 Obviously, parts are getting kind of wrecked. And yeah. on the motorplex, people are literally spinning Dude, out. And it they was can't getting, move. It was so slippery over there. And, even, like, everyone's times are just getting slower each time. And it's getting to the point where, at least for me, it wasn't even very much fun. Because, like, I was going, like, a mile an hour trying to get up the hill. Because it's just all iced over. Yeah. It was still cool because I was like, holy shit, I'm putting my car through this condition. And it's doing it. Um, but, like... I did it twice. What's the difference a third time going through at a mile an hour, you know? Yeah. So. How'd it go? Uh, not that good. What do you mean? Uh, I think we got like 43 seconds. First, I think got like 37. So a little bit behind, but still a fun run. Dude, he was ripping. This sport wagon f***ing slaps. <laughs> So good. All right, so I think we're gonna call our quits a little early here just because I want to be able to make it home in one piece. We're getting just a little weird noise on either the passenger side or the driver's side or the middle. I can't really tell. I'm pretty sure it's just like ice really kind of built up in somewhere. Uh, but when I turn right, it seems to like make it louder. So we're just gonna take it easy. We're gonna call it a day. We had an absolute blast out here. We were thinking about autocrossing in the winter on some all seasons. Don't, <laughs> don't do it. I made it barely, but we didn't get stuck. We didn't crash into a snowbank. And as of right now, the car is still in one piece. Now we can just make it the hour home. We'll be good.